uh, the lesson this morning dealt mainly with Jesus in the synagogue at Capernaum and how those people were treated to two very specific things that made him the best candidate for being Messiah. Number one, he taught as somebody who had authority, not like the scribes. And number two, he had power over the, the, the demonic realm. So when the demons showed up, Jesus was able to cast them out. And I've wondered what it would have been like to have been in one of the crowds or to be close to Jesus when he was doing miracles and to be able to well, so much interact with him, but just to see him live and in person. There's a different feeling when you, you know, even human celebrities, you watch them on TV or if you see them in person. I was in the DFW airport one day and the Los Angeles Lakers were coming in to play somebody. I don't know whether they were going through to San Antonio or coming to Dallas. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was walking through DFW and we walked past each other. So you can imagine the difference between the up there and the down here. But, you know, I was that close to basketball royalty. What would it have been like to be in the, the uh, place where Jesus was and actually see him doing these things? You would think that it would change your life so dramatically that you would always be faithful, that you would always be connected. What well, I want to read to you kind of a sad passage from Matthew chapter 11, beginning in verse 21. Well, let's start with 20. He began to rebuke the cities in which most of his mighty works had been done because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. If the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. By the way, Tyre and Sidon were Gentile cities and were full of idolatry. And you, Capernaum, you who are exalted up to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. I'm telling you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. That's pretty amazing, huh? Here's a group of people that in their very own synagogue, in their very own city, they got to hear the Son of God preach. They got to see the Son of God work miracles. And in the end of things, Jesus doesn't say, isn't it wonderful how well that you people came together and backed me up and became my disciples? In the end, he says, you know what? I think Sodom's got it better than you guys. It's an amazing world that we live in. Maybe being on our end of history, looking back, is difficult at times because we don't get to see him in person. But even those that did, had a choice to make, same choice we have to make. Do we accept him as Messiah? Do we accept him as Lord? Do we make him to be in charge of all we do? If not, if we know about him and if we know about his miracles and we don't make him Lord of our lives in every sense on every day, then maybe we'd be better off to have lived in ancient Sodom. It's hard to imagine, but true. If you need to respond, we want to help you as we say it.